fire one so at code up beginner contest 2018 just finished and in that contest there was a problem d rectangles and in this problem there are n distinct points on a two dimensional plane and these points are numbered from 1 to n and point i has got the coordinates x i and y i and we are required to answer the number of rectangles like that are possible with by these points these like whose vertices are among these given points and uh, whose edges are parallel to the x and y axis so the constraints are that uh, the n is less than equal to 10 to, to the power like 2000 and uh, the coordinates are ranging from 0 to 10 power 9 and uh, these points are distinct so we can see that uh, a naive approach in which we are considering all the combination of four points to check whether those are forming a rectangle or not will give us theory so we need to optimize the solution so during the problem like uh, during the contest what i did i actually like actually let us consider all the points let us group all the points on the basis of their x axis so after grouping all these points on the basis of their x axis So now these points are grouped on the basis of x axis. So we, what we will do, we will like uh, consider all these points from the right to left. So while suppose we are considering all the points for this particular x, so there will be like uh, there will be like we can there will be a number of points on this x axis, and uh, we will consider every pair of of all possible pair of this group of points. So what we need to calculate, we need to calculate that how much rectangles are possible whose like left edge is made of this A comma B. Like suppose uh, we are calling this A, this point A, and we are calling this point B. So we want to know how much rectangles are possible whose this leftmost, leftmost edge is A, A B. So actually this number is the number of points that are present in towards the right whose x uh, like y coordinates are a comma b. So there may be many x coordinates which may have be having these two points, one point having the y coordinate a and one point having the y coordinate b. So we to know this we can take uh, like we can take help of a map and that map will contain the number of pairs like it will contain the count of the pairs of the point a comma b till now like uh, till all the points processed how many pairs a comma b are possible so as like as we'll be trading towards left we will keep it like updating the number of pairs a comma b to so that we can calculate the number of rectangles whose left edge can be whose left edge is a comma b so the there are like uh, if suppose there are three points having uh, suppose the count of a comma b is three so there are three rectangles possible so we will keep uh, adding these rectangles as we keep processing these points so after processing all these points from right to left order in right to left order the uh, whatever the answer like whatever the answer will be that will be the sum of all these rectangles so i can we can now start implementing it so more like the things that are not clear will be more clear when we'll implement it so first of all like i will be taking the input so first we need to take the input n and uh, then we need to take all the endpoints as input actually i will be using long long end for x comma y because uh, to store the number of counts now to store the count of the pair of a comma b 
I'll be using a an ordered map, and uh, I'll be ha like a hashing. I will be mapping long long int to long long int. So this long long int will uh, represent this a comma b, and I will be making uh, a hash for this a comma b by using the like uh, since this the range of this these two points are like only between zero to ten to the power nine. So if I will multiply this a with ten to the power nine plus one, and then add it with b, then it will be make a unique key. So I'll be using a an ordered map which will map long long int to long long int and i can call it count and uh, i will also be having a map so this time i'll be having an ordered map and uh, it will like uh, it will contain all the points basically it will be a map from a long to vector of long so basically it will contain all the points like whose x coordinate is like which have got a same x coordinate and the reason why i am using a map and not an ordered map because i need to like uh, iterate all these uh, points in the decreasing order of their x coordinates so after taking input x and y i'll be like uh, pushing y in the corresponding vector corresponding uh, vector of x coordinate so after the this step like all the points will be stored in the their corresponding vectors according to their x coordinate and uh, now we can do what we can start iterating from in the order of large x coordinate to smaller x coordinate so we will be iterating in this direction so we need to like use r begin and r end for iterating in like uh, opposite direction Sorry, there is a syntax error. It should be auto right here. So we can access the x coordinate with uh, with first, and we can access the corresponding vector using itr sec itr second. So this will give us the vector of all the points of all the y card coordinates of the points which have the, got the same x. So I will call it vect for now. And uh, first, we need to sort these. The reason why I am sorting because I want to only consider the pair a comma b in which a is smaller than b. So now we can. I can call the size of the vector as m. and we need to consider all the points a comma b so a can be a can range from 0 to m and b can, will range from a plus 1 to b less than m so the y coordinates two y coordinates will be vector of a and vector of b so these are the two points first of all we need to make a hash out of them so multiplying them with multiplying one with 10 to the power 9 plus 1 will generate a unique hash and first we will have a we also need a variable for storing the total number of rectangles so the total number of rectangles will be 
increased by count of this key basically we are like counting the number of rectangles possible when they are left most edges a comma b at this x coordinate and after this we need to update the count of key so we can increment it by one since we are encountering a, a comma b so after processing this loop we are we have got all the total number of rectangles and uh, this should give us the all the number of rectangles so we can try it on the sample test cases yeah so this was this is a sample test case and it answer is coming out to be three and in the problem itself the answer is three so we can try this also and answer should be one for this problem yeah it is coming one so we can submit it yeah it got accepted so thank you guys